I am again making some videos for English medium. Okay, there was some demands, so I'll be making some videos for English medium students also. So let us begin. So today I'll be discussing the chapter two in the NCERT series of class sixth geography, and the name of the chapter is. globe longitudes and latitudes okay so this is our chapter so first of all we will be discussing that what is globe okay and before discussing what is globe i would like to tell you a few points from the last chapter okay so the first thing which i would like to explain is that our earth our earth it is not round or it is not spherical okay the proper word which is used to describe the shape of earth is geoid okay and what does geoid means geoid means flat on the poles and spherical on the sides okay so if we discuss the structure or the shape of the earth you can say that earth is flat these are the poles of earth and or you can say these are the northern and southern terminals of the earth and they are what they are flat okay so that's why this type of structure of earth which is flat at these areas and around in the sides or the surrounding areas or the, these periphery areas this type of structure is known as geoid okay and basically the word geoid means earth shaped okay fine so what is the shape of earth the shape of earth is earth shaped and that particular shape is known as geoid fine so after this explanation i would like to move to next topic and that is globe now i would like to explain what is globe okay so this globe you can say it is a smaller version okay it is a smaller man made version of earth okay which is somewhat you can say similar to that of real structure of earth fine so what is globe 
it is man made okay and it is similar to earth okay it is similar to the structure of earth fine and it is a smaller version okay you can say it is not so much huge okay it is a smaller version okay it depicts it shows earth somewhat near to real but the structure is small okay in comparison to the real earth fine okay there are many types of globe okay which you can buy or which are available in the market some globes are small there are large globes also and there are some globes which are in form of balloons okay fine so like i would like to tell you that what are advantages of globe first of all it gives us an idea of how does earth looks and where are the continents or where are the oceans or where is a particular country located but there are drawbacks of globe also okay it cannot be carried from one place to another easily and one more thing okay the location is not very exact you okay there are some discrepancies fine now we move ahead and i would like to tell you that these globes okay not all globes they are easily carried from one place to another but these globes smaller and the globes which are available in form of balloons okay they can be carried from one place to another okay you blow air it takes the shape of globe and when you remove the air or when you take out the air and you can fold that globe and put into your pocket and move to some other place fine so this is what a globe is and you must have understood it okay so this was all about globe and now we move to our next topic okay and that topic is very important fine so i would like to take some example okay suppose if i want to send a letter to you or if i want to come to your home how shall i visit your home come on tell me the only way by which i can come to your house or i can send a letter to your house is that i must know your address okay so what i must know your address okay in the same way in order to locate a place in order to go to a place on earth okay on earth like we have different um, you can say uh mohallas or uh different numbers of streets okay and you can say the name of a particular location of city in the same way we have some 
methods okay we have some ways by which we can locate places on earth fine so in order to locate places on earth we require some things okay and to locate people's houses we need address so in the same way we have some addresses okay we have some addresses to locate a place on earth fine and these addresses are explained in this way okay now i will be explaining how to reach a particular place with the help of address which we use on the earth to locate a place fine so now let's see okay 